Good morning. And how is everyone today? So it is Sunday morning and I'm going to sit and listen to General Conference a lot. So I thought I would keep my hands busy. I'll, I'll make a basket. I'm going to make a, a hot plate to sit underneath the hot dishes on the table. I'm going to make one for my sister-in-law, Inika, and one for my mother-in-law, Lily. So this is today in Flardican. I looked this up in the uh, on the map, and I see that there's this long canal here, or, or a dock, and then there's another one out there that's much bigger, where the ships are. You see that ship there? Is that all a ship, too? I guess so, yeah. It's two ships. Anyway, so away we go. I brought along my journal and my sketchbook and my pastels. I think I will sit and draw the, the field where I'm taking these from. I want all the memories from this trip to be in there. Oh, this is hot. It was one degree Celsius this morning. You know what's nice? Sometimes in the morning when the sun shines on it, the side of the Delta Hotel has beautiful reflections of the water, the shimmering water. See how close we can see. B. I don't know what B means. En Heval van Storing Bailen Met Skylift. I have no idea what that means either. Hello. Must have bit my. I always see how it matches. I bite my lip when I'm sleeping. Oh, I have some exercises for your hands. So you hold your hand very straight and you just bend your, your things and then you stretch them. You bend them tightly and you keep your wrists straight. And you do that over and over until the tension is gone in your hand. And then the other one you go like this. You know, you put both hands. And I also, I ran my fingers through and I rubbed and rubbed my scalp and then wiped them through my hair. And I think that that was good for my hair. I feel the, um, feel it in my hair. Oh, my knees hurt. Not good, I have a long walk, but not so long. Oh, looks like we're having some precip. Everything is done with stones. See? The brick road. This doesn't have a bicycle lane. Da. More of it. There's so much sadness and misery in the world, you know? I think it's very important that we spread love and joy and but before we can spread it we need to feel it and the gospel of Jesus Christ is the most amazing way to feel joy if you haven't tried it you really should it's we try all kinds of things and many people think oh well religion Christianity what do I have to do with that but if you really want to feel joy there are truths, eternal truths, that are very beautiful and that are, 
that help you to be filled with joy. You know, when somebody asks you, why are you so happy? Can you tell them it's because of the gospel of Jesus Christ? It's, oh, I'm getting snowed upon. Look, there's a cloud and there's not a cloud. Maybe it's rain. No, I think it's snow. Oh, here comes another boat. Shall we look at it? Check it out before it's gone? I guess I won't be sitting down here if it's going to rain or snow on me. Ah. You know, this exercise I'm doing for my hands... Isn't this cool? They're not painted. They're just different color brick. To show the crosswalk. Isn't that awesome? Ah, and here's this beautiful tree again with these very pretty flowers. Do you think it would be okay to take one flower? They're starting to fall off. Mmm. Oh, it smells so nice. You know, leaves give off oxygen. And where do they give it off? Where does it go? Where is it? If you put your finger, if you don't move the leaf, but you just breathe what's right on top of the leaf, just in the top quarter inch or eighth of an inch, it's pure oxygen. It smells so good. I guess it wouldn't be okay to take just one, because if you could take just one, you could take 20. It's right is right and wrong is wrong, right? Smell these. No, it doesn't have a smell. Oh, this does. Hmm. Something for the birds, for their nest. Feels like wool. Very nice. A bird would be happy to have that. Tulips are beautiful, but they have no smell. Every time I smell them, they still don't have a smell. Nothing has changed. Look at these tiny flowers. They too have no smell. But you know, the smell on that, on that bush has become much bigger. happened here. Sometimes the focus on here doesn't work very well. It's not windy. A day that is not windy is a lovely day. This looks a lot like sage. Doesn't smell like sage though. You know, I see the bare soil, and every time I see it, it makes me want to put down leaves or straw or something. Hello. Because I don't think that the, I don't think the ground likes to be bare. I don't think it likes it at all.
that garbage container. It looks like you have to have a, a card or something to get it. Now let's look at this. So these are the wisteria vines here. And look at this. Are these the wisteria flowers? Is this the same tree? The same? Is, are the, is this a wisteria bush? Okay, now today I would like to get small vines. I suppose all vines would be good. Small vines is what I need. So, here is one. You see now this is very nice straw on the ground. Good for the soil. All right, we'll just take it from here. One. This is small all the way back to here. I sharpen these today by Which one is it? Is this one right? I sharpen them by using uh, steel wool. There's a second one. Let's get this one. Let's get this one first. I don't want the flat stuff though. It's not useful for me. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that would be useful for making this. Let's see how it works. Maybe I should take this thing and get it out of the yard. So it turns out this used to be a very wonderful a spot of a Indonesian restaurant or Indonesian store. another thin one here. There's another one. That isn't so thin. Let's concentrate on the thin ones first. 
for my purposes today. This is where the, the building is attached here. It's unusual to have an empty spot, isn't it? Maybe I shall now wrap them up. And I, I, I'm not sure how long a video I can upload, so I'm gonna stop this now and start again.